I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thank you for joining me once again in my channel on data engineering. In this episode, we go back to our Microsoft Access playlist, and we're going to talk a little bit about auto numbers. Now, I know auto numbers is something that tripped me up a few times when I was developing applications early on in my career and running into issues like not being able to rebuild a table uh, and things like that, uh, and not being able to insert into an auto number column, um, which can cause all kinds of issues if things aren't running completely as you planned. And so let's get to it. Interested in supporting my work and seeing other articles and information on this topic? Make sure to check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. Okay guys, so today I wanted to talk about auto numbers. It's kind of a topic that we don't really talk about very much. Um, and so I've got this little file here, which I will make available to you guys um, on my download site. And uh, it's just a very simple table that I've got inside here. It's, uh, it's a staff table that we've used before. And as you can see here, it does have an auto number field in it, along with some last name, first name, position, you know, uh, some other data, some crazy uh, quote stuff that we did in, in another episode. Uh, but this field here, the staff ID, is really the one that we're kind of interested in. And if I go to the design of the table, uh, you can see that it has an auto number data type. And I can click on it and, uh, and I can see uh, its properties and, and also the properties of the other fields in the table. So we've got some short texts and things like that in here. But our main focus today is going to be on that auto number field that is at the top there um, and the auto number field is very very important um, it's also known as an identity field uh, in other databases so if you come from other databases you might recognize that um, and what it does is it just basically starts at one and it increments by one for each new record that's put into a table and that works all fine and dandy and people like to build these big table structures. Maybe you've got some other tables that are dependent or, or are in relationships or have constraints with this table, some foreign keys and things like that. And what really happens is, is if I try to type in that, you know, type into that field, you can see I get this error down at the bottom. Can't Control cannot be edited. It's bound to the auto number field. And so in some cases we 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 do need to insert into there as an administrator and if i do it as a user you can see here if i just start typing into the other fields it does create that number nine that's the next one in in the sequence and i can work sort of as a user here and finish the record um, and you can see that the data is input correctly and we've got our nice auto number uh, which happens to be number nine um, but I cannot type into that row and if I have some kind of situation where uh, I need to rebuild the table in exactly as it was for example say you have relationships and you need to rebuild it and you still need to have an auto number there well you can do that um, in fact, you can insert into an auto number field um, and you can also rebuild an auto number table exactly as it was uh, so that your foreign keys and everything in your other tables will be uh, recreated if you have to rebuild the table, say, in another file, in another database somewhere. And so what I did there was I said uh, create on the create ribbon, new query, uh, design and then I'm changing the query design to an append query and I'm going to specify that I'm going to insert uh, into um, the staff table and so what I'm going to do here is I'm I'm actually just going to use the append query here as a demonstrator and so what I can do is I can I can say staff ID and then I can just plug a number here I can just say 10 this is our first example 
So you can use a, uh, an append query as a way to get an auto number in there. And so I can say last name is uh, Smith and uh, I can say uh, first name is uh, Judy. And so uh, I should change that Smith to quotes there. It wants to grab that as a field, but I'm just going to plug some values here. And so this is the equivalent of an insert query. Insert into staff ID, last name, first name, values 10, Smith and Judy. And I'm going to say append to staff ID, append to last name, and append to first name. And that um, should create a new record with those three fields filled in. And if I hit run here, you'll see it does. I'm about to append one row and I can say yes. And so I have actually just inserted into the auto number field. And if I double click and open my table, you can see uh, I did insert into that field. Now I did choose the next available um, number, which was number 10. Uh, but what if say we wanted to insert 100? Well, we could do that too. Uh, so we'll change and add a different name here. We'll choose Cochrane and we'll do uh, a different name, say Bill. And, uh, and we can do that. We'll change those values and then we'll rerun this append query that just is inserting some values into our table. And we'll see if that works. Uh, can we insert the value 100 when it's not the right uh, sequence in the auto number? And you can see, yes, we can do that. And so we can insert in, into the into the table. I'm going to close that query. I did not save it because that was just a values query. And we, we can see here, now in our table, we do have those values for our auto number there. And so if you needed to uh, insert some very specific values, you could do that. Um, you could insert specific values that say match some foreign keys that you have in another table. Um, you could definitely do that um, using this method uh, and and sort of taking over the auto number. Um, now uh, there are some some caveats. Um, generally speaking you're going to lose the auto numbers in between say in this case 10 and 100. You'll lose all of those auto numbers. Um, and the next available one, if I started to create a new record manually, will of course be 101. So if I type into a new row here, you can see that I've got uh, Monroe. And as soon as I start typing in that value into the last name, you can see that 101 pops up in the staff ID. And, um, and so that's going to start auto numbering from the highest value that you have there. Those are things that you need to be aware of if you start to manually uh, make entries into the auto number uh, field. So it's not really something that's recommended uh, for say your application, you know, where users, if you build some logic in to auto populate something, we don't really want to do that. But if it's a one-time administration thing that you have to do to fix something, then by all means do it. So if I right click on this staff table, we're going to pretend that something got screwed up or part of the table got corrupted or whatever, um, then you can rebuild your table, especially if you have all kinds of relations that you've built with other tables with foreign keys and things like that. You can rebuild the entire uh, sort of data structure or the data on the structure that you built by using this method if you have something get, that gets really screwed up. So you start at the very top, of course, um, and insert the sort of top of the pyramid and then all the, the foreign key dependent records, you can uh, recreate those below if you really need to. And so what I did there is I created that empty table with the staff new, it's empty. Um, and it just has the same fields and structure as the original table. 
and uh, I'm going to create an append query here. So I've created a new query. I use that create ribbon, then query design, and then I just close the pop-up that came up there. And now I'm just loading in all of the fields uh, for the staff table. So I'm selecting everything from the staff table, basically. And you can see I've got all of the fields, including the auto number field, except now I'm going to change my query to an append query. And I'm going to say, hey, I want to append all of these records into our staff new table, including the auto number field, which has, of course, you know, all kinds of associations with other tables, for example. Um, and that's exactly what we want to do because maybe we are rebuilding a table and we need all of those associations, even though the auto number would typically start from one and, and increment, you know, after. And so that's the empty table there. If I double click on our query and say yes, then it appends those rows, including the auto number field, which has, you know, some gaps in it and things like that. Um, so that the staff ID will match the entries that are in some other tables and that is exactly what we want to see there and as I mentioned this is very very handy if you need to rebuild tables uh, in another environment for recovery. Now there is one more step that I would highly recommend after you do any kind of inserting into the auto number field and that is to go to your file menu there um, and go to the inf info uh, and do a compact and repair on your on your database so that access can work its magic in the background and that is how you can insert values into your auto number field in a table that you might want to rebuild for your database need more resources for your project make sure to check out the additional links in the description